think we're good, bro. All right, guys, championship round. Of the world championship of the world. Got a little water. Oh, yo, man, catch me this. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. I think it's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Out, so. I pretty much got all the tackle out of my boat. <laughs> all the tackles out of the cabin boat right now. Morning. Good morning, Jacob. Probably have some fun, hopefully. We're gonna have some fun. Hopefully, them suckers decide to bite. If I'm like, I feel like I got all the dang tackle You're ready. Right. Okay, y'all. Uh, we're fixing to leave here in about five minutes. There. It's windy, it's cloudy, a big front's about to come in. These are conditions to catch a lot of bass and some big ones. Now, weather conditions are great. Water conditions, that is, I don't know. You know, we've been to a couple places. They've been high, they've been low, they've been in between. We're just gonna have to see what happens. If the water's really, really muddy, it might be tough. I got a feeling that somewhere, some way, these guys are gonna absolutely catch them today. Somebody's gonna figure it out. These four guys are here for the reason. And we gotta somehow outsmart them and outsmart them by us. Okay. Welcome to uh, St. John. All right. It's a, another ox boat. How about uh, that? Yeah, there's not a lot of detail on the map, but get you a little. Figure it out. For everything. Absolutely. All right. St. John it is. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, it's a big, it's a big boomerang. Yeah. <laughs> it's very familiar, right? That's a big boomerang, he said. It's a big boomerang. We're gonna be all, we're gonna be all looking at each other today. I guarantee it. Gosh, it's windy. Dang, Aaron, why'd you get the dang wind blowing like it is? It's freezing. Unbelievable. Somebody have a backup hook range, bibs or what's that? I didn't bring bibs. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I was, I was seeing if somebody had a backup hook. Rain bibs. Hey, can I? You just sit in there? Oh, you're talking on the phone? Uh huh. Talking to Leslie. Big hands. They're big hands. Almost as big as mine. Oh. <laughs> I'm a grown boy. <laughs> it's cold. All right, y'all. So we only have three more guys. Three more guys to beat. Get all our stuff together. I, I thought I might. I mean, if you, if you got room for one more, I might. Good luck, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Aaron, can I just jump in the boat with you today? I'll fish. I, I'll just fish. In your, I'll just fish behind you. I ain't worried about your bait. I ain't worried about your bait. You just keep doing you. I'll do me. I'm just gonna sit down and wait on you to do all your tackle. Wipe that off. Zip this up. I'm gonna go to the chart map right there can you grab that for me thank you this real high detailed map is what i need to bring I'm trying to record a little bit of this Put that there Put this around here that's good enough to me yeah okay okay i think we're good they were ready to roll. I'll wipe off this GoPro a little bit more. Yeah, we're good. Quite a limit, so it's become the main, more the main, the main body that's gonna actually become a player. So, we're, we're, yeah, right now we're gonna go with those. It's a lot like uh, that other place. All right, guys, championship round. We're here. It's cold. It's nippy. I thought it was going to be a little warmer today. The wind's blowing. And the thing about that is they should be biting. It's before front. you got a north wind. It's the banks, I'm assuming, that are going to be pretty good are the ones that have the wind blowing, which is a lot of like that. So we're just going to have to probably, it looks a lot like Bruin to me. It's not as much like Black River Lake. Um, a lot of houses, a lot of docks. Just want to have to mix it up today, but I, I assume that the, that same pattern that I was catching them on at Bruin could potentially play today here. We're just going to really have to look. What I'm going to do is look at basically both extreme ends of the lake. I think it's about nine miles long. We have a 30 minute ride around and uh, try to dissect it as quickly as I possibly can. Perfect. 
perfect. Oh man. Alright, so I need to put a couple of things. Grab a couple of things out. So y'all, we ran back into this little zone. There's some hydrilla out here. It's freaking pretty. Gosh, it's pretty. Like the prettiest stuff I've ever seen. So I'm trying to get all my stuff together. This is a little swim bait blade combo. This is the BMC right here with a four inch Largo. Y'all know I love him. Obviously the chatter hoo hoo and all that. So how much time we got left? Three minutes. So if we're lucky, which I don't think we're that lucky, no, we ran back up in here and seen that hydrilla. But if we are, could be really good. Potentially. Really good. Alright, we're just rigging up some tackle right now. And look, this is this area right here just has so much potential. You see the coots out in the middle of the bay. There's hydrilla, and it's the only place that I've seen hydrilla on this whole lake. Now, I'm not saying there isn't, there might be way more, but it's protected. It's a little spawning pocket. It's on the north end of the lake, which warms up the fastest. It's just like perfect. And the crazy thing is when you first come in, the water is dirty. So it sort of might throw some guys off. They don't want to all, come all the way back up in here. But once I got all the way up in here, I seen the hydrilla, and hydrilla is gonna filter a lot of that water out, or you know, make it a little bit clearer. So I'm uh, highly optimistic about this little zone, to say the least. Hell zone might be better there. Than I think it is, but all that hydrilla towards the back end of it. But I just wanted to keep them. Keep them honest by make sure there's not a whole bunch of them running around doinking swim jigs and stuff up shallow before we go too slow. There's a lot of that hydrilla out there in the middle. I'll be casting that. In Jacob, it's eight o'clock. Two hours remain in the first period. Mike Iconelli remains the only angler on Sport Tracker. He has three pounds, three ounces, and one fish. Got a good one, though. Spike's the only guy who's caught one. We're still chucking around. This place is the prettiest place I've seen the whole time I've been here. Clear, black water, perfect spawning habitat, little backwater slough, February, hydrilla. Like, you couldn't make it up any better. Cypress trees, mats. I mean, what do you do? There's got to be some big ones in here somewhere. I can't die in here, that's for sure. But I mean, right now it's not that easy. So I can sort of, you know, move around a little bit, cast out in the middle, cast towards the trees, wind or vibrate and dig around a little bit. Normally, I mean, if there's a whole bunch of them in here, you're going to get a bite on that, on that vibrating jig. It just is what it is. And no matter what you do, it's just, bound to happen man these trees pretty no time big in big in uh popped him off that tree a uh, ding Look at that. Four pounds, six ounces. Yeah. Woo! Let her go. Thank you, baby. A uh, bean. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang. I didn't get that one on my camera. Dang. Y'all got that one, though. It's okay. Zero ounces. There we go. Number two. Big dude. 
pegging. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Dang tub right there, boys and girls. <sighs> Hook fell out. Five pounds, nine ounces. Boom, there we go. Woo, look at that tub. Gosh, beautiful fit. Short, stubby, just an absolute tank. Pre-spawn female. Heck yeah, man. Nuts, man. Nuts. <sighs> Shaking. See you later, baby. Uh, y'all know it. Uh, uh, a ding, ding, right there. Count it. Mark it. Gosh, <sighs> got the old heart beating. I seen. I was like, oh, come on. They're in here like that. We better watch out. We better retire our crickets. Something I always like to do is I like using like a, a contrasting color on, on a lot of my vibrating jigs. This one's special. So I actually went out and got on the dock last time at Bruin and got this one special vibrating jig back. That's what I've caught them on black blue with a little bit of green pumpkin. Pretty simple, pretty easy, but probably not catches them. After update, Jacob, that five pound, nine ounce fish brings your total to 11 pounds, 15 ounces and your lead over Mike Iconelli is now eight pounds, 12 ounces. He has three pounds, three ounces. No other anglers are on sport tracker at this time. Pound seven ounces, not a big one, but. And that one just tagged it, so straight bigs in here. Golly whoppers. <laughs> Dropping some bombs on them this morning. Hey, they must have drank their coffee because they straight ding in my stuff. <laughs> they must have had some coffee this morning. Just straight ding in my dang jig. Gosh. Score tracker update, Jacob. That last fish, four pounds, one ounce, increases your total to 17 pounds, seven ounces. Your lead over Mike Iconelli is 13 pounds, one ounce. Mike Iconelli has caught a one pound, three ounce fish. He has four pounds, six ounces. No other anglers are on score tracker. It's 851, we have just under one hour, 10 minutes remaining in the period, in the first period. Yeah, I know, because it's like, dude, every, like, I'm, I'm constantly, like, zigzagging, making gas, I'm like... Get in here, yes! Eight ounces. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that feels so awesome. Good gosh. Dang. See you later, baby. I figured I'd had to just get back in here and just make sure to, you know, sort of take care of 
the little zone where I felt like there was the majority of them. Now, this is the thing. If he comes back, I don't have a problem being in here. I'm just trying to get a little zone. So Todd just pulled up in here and, um, you know, have no issue with Todd being in here at all, but just trying to sort of protect the little zone that I had my bites in. And, you know, if he wants to fish on that left side, totally understandable. Like, you know, there's plenty of water, but, you know, my only issue I'll have is if he comes to the point where, you know, he doesn't catch him. And then he comes in and starts right with me, um, which that would be, you know, a lot of garbage in my opinion. You just, at that point in time, you're just literally fishing the the boats, you know, and the guy who's catching one, you know, it's no better than anything else. Which I wouldn't think Taco would do that, but you never know. It is the world championship. People do crazy things. Score tracker update. Jacob Wheeler, you have 22 pounds, 15 ounces, and are in the lead. Mike Iconelli is in second with five pounds, 14 ounces. No other anglers are on score tracker at this time. It's 9.35. We have just under 25 minutes remaining in period one. three ounces here we go that's what i'm talking about you know just fortunate to catch a couple of these nice fish today beautiful fish though let her go you probably ain't gonna catch up to me fishing the same water though Just trying to protect it more than anything, you know. Don't have an issue with the top being in here. Just wanted to sort of. I ain't playing that. Uh uh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You're fine. No, he said I don't. I don't have an issue with top being in here. Just the fact it's like it's just this little zone, and you know he sees him catching them, and. uh that's just not real cool the you know there's plenty of water but i'm on you know i just sort of nah don't really just don't have a lot of respect for that i'm just sort of uh, a little disappointed it's really I'm not trying to to be that way but just sort of different you know i feel like four guys on a lake a little bit of respect on that side of things i mean it would be something if I just, I mean, it's not even like, I mean, I've caught, caught him. He doesn't know where I've caught him. He thinks I caught him all right here, which is fine. I caught him all the way down that stretch. I gave him that stretch, but I just caught that fish. So literally, he's got to go back, right back to where I was protecting. Just acting like, you know, I mean, I just, that's just not cool. People do, do weird stuff in world championships, though. Five, four. Out, that's the end of period one. Well, you know, it's, it's uh, gotten a little crowded up in here, <laughs> which I mean, I don't think Todd or Aaron came in here, you know, looking for anybody. I just think they came in here and I try to protect a little little stretch with Talk. I'm not going to worry about it. I said what I felt about Talk, you know, right, right now. And, you know, if he comes back in here, you know, something I wouldn't do, but look, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit there. I'm just going to sit down. And, Try to retie a couple things and just fish. You know, that's just how it's gonna have to be. But it's gonna be a lot harder to beat them. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be a lot harder to beat. You can't beat somebody. It's hard to beat somebody trying to fish used water. So I don't. And that's why I told Talk. I said it's gonna be hard to to win if you're trying to win fishing used water. So hopefully, maybe he'll give us some room. But if not, just part of it. We'll find out real quick. the lighter weight. It's the best spot in the whole lake. Who makes you think that? Huh? Yeah. Is the tracker giving away?
Y'all are some dang Jimmy. You and you and all you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sounds good, Aaron. <laughs> That's right. It's okay, buddy. I'm holding like y'all gotta go to that spot here tonight. It is actually pretty funny. The good thing is I have caught the crap out of them, so I, I don't mind y'all coming in and joining. It just makes it more fun. If you want to hop in the boat, Aaron, we can, you can both be here. I know. So basically, worst nightmare happened. <laughs> So it's so funny. So literally I take off and I have a lot of tackle on the boat, probably more than anybody else, right? So I take off and I'm running. And I'm running down through here and there comes Ike and Ike's ahead of me. I said, okay. Which, I mean, look, there's been camera boats and everything else out of this little zone the whole day. Pretty obvious where I was at. Then there comes Aaron, Tuck. They're going about two miles faster than I am. I take the corner, they beat me in here. And so basically there's four boats and a 10 acre pond, four. And, the, and the, we got a 8,000 acre lake to go fish on. <laughs> Pretty funny, really. I mean, I'm, obviously it's like, but at the same point in time, like I said, just you can't even, you just gotta let them, you just gotta fish. That's all that matters. You gotta catch them, which would be even funnier if we double cross one a couple more right here with them. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the funniest. Hey, look, this is what it is. Anything goes in the world championship. When you got all three of them rolling up in here, you know you got them squalling a little bit. Not very happy individuals. It's okay. No, but like, I don't care. It's like, whatever. But it just makes it funny. <laughs> but I like it sort of truthfully, to be honest with you. I sort of like it because what it does is it, it makes it where everybody's splitting fish up. So I catch a couple more and uh, Talk and Aaron are in here. Ike's on that one side, which you could catch them on that side, no problem. No, everybody's gonna have to split fish up. And Tox just run to the back, because that's where he thought I caught him. I caught one right in front of him. That's all he did. He just ran straight to the back where I caught that fish, thinking that that's where I was protecting the most, when in fact, I caught him all throughout. So the, he's definitely playing the score tracker thing, update pattern, <laughs> if you will. Y'all don't know what I'm doing. Just stay right there. Why can't we be friends? 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 Taking my time. Flipping the nubs. Holy snow will know where they caught them if they catch them. <laughs> uh, we might as well just go to a private pond. I, I got bigger ponds in this place. Those boys just like, they just like to have fun. Girls just wanna have fun. But these guys do too. That's another four pounder. Another score back there, I think. Four, yeah. Four pounds, six ounces. Four pounds, four ounces. Almost. That's just one more fish. Them boys got a catch. All right, Big Bird. Tell them, tell your girlfriend, don't bite cock, cricket, or any of them. Okay, just tell them. Okay. Begging. Three pounds, zero ounces. Yes. Three pounder. I thought that was a little one. <laughs> three pounders. When three pounders are little. It's a pretty good day. It just probably spins them all out. They hear score director update. And I'm creeping around these things, cypress trees, getting these little angles. Just pitching my spinner bait around. Good job, Aaron. I'm glad you caught you one, buddy. I'm I'm glad I left you one. I thought I got them all, but I didn't, I guess. That's a good one, though. I really hope you get second. Oh. 
Well, welcome to the set. This is where all the TV magic happens. Shelly and myself taking care of it here for the World Championship. You know, it's not as big as you think it is, but boy, it looks big on TV. And wait till you see the coverage of this one. Can't tell you anything about it. Top secret, but spin around. You can get a look at it anyway. I'm asking. Are you just from up there? Nothing on there. That sucks. Can't Rangers. feature this late. When someone else. Is static just starting, or you can just start hearing me? We got the mic set up. All right, hang on. We got a boat coming by, and the background's gonna blow sound. It's like a leaf blower with fishing rods. We never have any problems because technology is Hello, hello, hello. Hi, this is Pat Summer off of True Value Hardware. Next time you're in the neighborhood, stop on in. Tell them Pat sent you. That's all we got, everybody. A slow start for a couple of anglers on the score tracker here in the championship round. So let's go out to Marty Stone, our on the water analyst. Marty, let's talk about Jacob Wheeler. How do they stop him? Or better yet, how can they catch him? Steven, I don't know if he can be stopped, but if they have any hope at all to catch him, three things have got to happen. Well, Marty, you know, when we get into a championship round, it's all about who can win it by the end of the day, so we're going to head back out now. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. You good? Marty, you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah buddy. All right. Bye. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Good stuff, man. And that's a wrap for that section. Be back later after lunch. Hey, you ready for your sandwich? Hey. Each one's different. Sometimes they're nice, they have fireplaces, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they have heat, sometimes they don't. But either way, it's our home a little way from home. That's where I watch my movies. <laughs> Yeah, but nothing's changed, so. Simple as that. Nothing's changed on score tracker. One pound, seven ounces. Agreed. <laughs> I haven't caught one like that for a while, but I'm thankful for him. And dishearten them. Not a big one, but adds to the dang total. One pound, six ounces. Agreed. Not the biggest one, but every single pound makes it that much harder for those guys to catch us. So one thing I'm really trying to do when I get around these trees, I'm trying to almost bump them with that spinner bait. And if you watch me, when I when I make a cast, I'm, I'm guiding that bait constantly. So I'm bringing my rod over to the left, bringing it over to the right, swapping it out, shaking it every once in a while. So it's not just throwing a spinner bait out there and winding it. There's a lot more about precision and trying to get that bait close enough to the strike zone. Cause I don't feel like their strike zone's all that big. I feel like you almost have to, to bump that bump that spinner bait or that vibrating jig around some of those trees in order to get them to trigger. And that's exactly how a lot of my bites have come, just hitting that tree or bumping off of it by steering it. And that's something that just, if you watch a lot of anglers, some of the best, that's what they do. They're utilizing that rod and they're taking their bait and trying to run it into cover. That's just a tip that has caught me a lot of bass over the years. So one of the biggest things to that area that we caught all, almost all those big ones, is sort of the back of a pocket, sort of a protected area. You know, we're down here right before the spawn. Some of those fish are probably actually spawning. Water's 59, 60 degrees. And it's sort of protected. You got a, basically a creek that runs along um, back in here. And that's where a lot of this dirty water's coming from. And then you have a protected spawning pocket, um, almost like a slough 
off of that creek, which a lot of those fish are getting out of that current, getting out of that, of that mud. Um, and then also on top of that, there's grass back there. So what actually what it is, is that hydrilla is filtering the water out so they can definitely, you know, get in that area and feel comfortable. Um, you know, obviously the bait fish are there for them because they're chunky as all get out. And then on top of it, you just have the perfect spawning habitat with the water coming up um, and protection for those fish to where they can lay their eggs and not have to worry about, you know, really the water washing it away. It's all about them feeling comfortable in that zone and then just a little 7,500 yard stretch. It's why there's so many big fish. They're just filtering in this place one by one throughout the day. And as that weather warms up, they'll probably be even more. Instead of going up there and trying to fight, talk, and Aaron for basically that little zone that I caught him in the first period, I'm sort of just trying to take what they've lit, left me and go in behind them and take my time. There's not a ton of them left, so you know, one thing probably what I'll do is I might start in here in the, first, in the third period and then go to the stretch that I caught him in the first period real well. And then um, just just go have fun. Maybe refish a couple areas, but I, if I can catch enough of them, I'd rather just go run around the lake a little bit and fish. I don't normally like fishing behind myself, even though this is, you know, a, a, a placing where they're really spawning and pulling up to spawn, so they should replenish. But with three boats, it just it's not the way to catch a big bag. So we'll take our time the next five, 10 minutes, and then we might regroup and come up with a game plan, hopefully to close it out in that third period. Mmm, not a big one. That must have been one of the babies from one of them five pounders I uh, been catching. Oh, man, it really sticks out anyway. Let's do some house cleaning. Oh. All right, fair enough. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think we increased our lead, which is always good. Crap. We're gonna, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Caught it back. They were both brand new batteries. But I've never I'm like, what are the odds that you hear a pop on there? Both I ain't mean, go back there straight. Yeah. A ding a ding. A ding a ding a ding ding. Freaking little pilgrims, too. What's that? Don't quit your day. Hey, I had to be entertaining you, freaking suckers. <laughs> I didn't care. Like, whatever. I ain't going back. Screw it. I'm freaking going somewhere else. It's too much BS. <laughs> have you, have you missed them? Yeah, I lost three or four. Sitting pretty dang solid right now. I think I got close to a 27 pound lead. So I'm not, I still think I need to catch a couple, but I'm just gonna go fishing. I'm not gonna go back to that area. I'm gonna go 
try to see if I can't figure it out on the lake. And these guys obviously haven't. I would just enjoy dialing in bass. That's what I'm about to go do. Try to, anyway. It sort of suck when you roll into your deal. Everybody rolls in there. There was nobody in there in the first period. And then everybody rolls in there in the second. Just whatever. I mean, Todd came in there late. Aaron came in there late. Didn't catch anything until, you know, and I'm just like, forget it. They all, I just part of it. You're just going to have that. I just leave it alone. I don't want to talk negatively on anybody though. I would. This is starting to look a lot better right in here. A little bit shallower, not completely where I want it, but close anyway. Dude, they gotta be in this. Oh, it's a big one. Gosh, dang, it's a big one. I knew there'd be a so, It's a five pounder. That's a big one. Gosh, that's a big one. Five pounder. There we go. Yeah. That might have been it, guys. That might be the dagger in the heart. Just ding. Uh, he was not coming off. Yes. That might have been it. Three pounds, six ounces. <laughs> that seriously might be the world championship fish right there. You might put the nail in the coffin. Man. Oh, it's been a day. Dude, yeah, there, there's a big one right there. that blew up right there. Yeah, that's the grass. I actually seen that fish literally blow up. On Two pounds, one ounce. There you go. <laughs> I seen that one actually literally blow up on something up there in that mat. And I kept yo-yoing it, kept yo-yoing it, and uh, got in the bite. Let me get my dobbin deal out. This is basically a Guggen Baits Bandito bug. Put it in a one ounce weight. That was a one ounce tungsten, four out straight and shake. I need to be back, one back in here somewhere. There's one right there. This sucker still owes me a dang bite. I dialed myself way back in there. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that one, Gary. Whew. <laughs> y'all though, y'all though. Oh my goodness, fished hard till the end of the round. Man, yes, man, we did this thing. We set out to win a championship, a world championship several years ago in the start of the selects. Went all the way through there, made it through the cups, made it through a two year process to get it to the world championship. And now we just won this dang thing. Get down, yes. Oh my goodness. You guys don't even understand how excited I am. Oh, we did this thing. And y'all know what I'm about to say. Uh, ding, about to hoist. About the second period when everybody rolls into your area, what do you do? You just put your head down, go to work. Then after the third, or after the, basically after the second, just said, we're going fishing. We did just that. We did just that. 
And we double crossbone them suckers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't big and bite it. I almost want to go back and just catch that sucker. I'm so mad at him. Heck, I want to hold up, y'all. This one don't count, but I got to make one more cast. Forget that. That sucker done played me wrong. I just want to make sure. Thank you. That $400 I lost last night came into play. I was so pissed off. I was like, I woke up this morning yeah, feeling yeah, dangerous. You the front. No. <laughs> if y'all don't get that, then you don't even watch sports at all. <laughs> feeling dangerous because I felt like I didn't have enough gas money to drive home. <laughs> I'm going, I'm not going back to that dang casino. Them suckers were straight getting, them suckers were straight. I'm not trying to lose all my money. Yeah, well, I, I just had the bad luck yesterday. It got me so mad that I had to just go overcome it. So I'm like, I was so mad. All right, y'all. Heading to the trophy presentation. Going to see this trophy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, who won? Who won it? Did you? Two people, how did two people win the bet? They say bet. Now I'll let y'all know. Literally, they bet. Uh-oh, the two right there. Killers. They picked me. At first pick. Literally. There you go. Oh. Holy crap. Gosh, the money. I'm the person next to like, I could even like, I don't even know if you can take it. I don't even know if you can waste that thing. They'll do money yeah, shots at the end. It's a doorstop. Phones on silent for anybody who's here. Yeah, see that one. Don't want to walk there. He came in as our number one ranked angler, reigning Challenge Cup champion, a brand new dad, and now he's earned, earned. Sorry. And, and now he's earned the Johnny Morris Award. Jacob, what a year. Unbelievable. Start, you know, January with my birth of my little girl, Olivia, and then now to end a year with this award is phenomenal. Obviously starting in the selects, going to the cups, and now to the world championship and to win it, you know, phenomenal. Even, I knew that it was the winning area. I seen it. I'm like, I'm starting here. I, I, I really had that feeling when I seen it in, in, in the ride around. And I shut down the first bite I got this morning was a, a four six. I mean, that was, I'm like, oh goodness. And then I caught a five eight and another five pounder and a couple four pounders. And I'm like, it was just my day. You just don't get those days all the time. And so you have to share some when it happens. Well, congratulations on your third Major League Fishing victory by becoming the 2019 General Tire World Champion. Look for us next time on Major League Fishing. We're good, good? Someone spot him. Help him I got him. Help him down. I just had to, I said I was going to hoist it though, so I'm going to at least hoist that sucker. That's very heavy. That's the heaviest trophy I've had. It's going to be. Remember, I feel that sucker. Heavy? Yeah, feel that. Yeah, it's heavy. Heavier than hell. Heavy. Oh, for sure. It's heavy. What do you want me to do? Need some sales with them. Yes. Yep. Where's the button? Awesome. <coughs> Ding. You got it. All right. Wow. Take a picture. Right. Awesome. I always have fun with you guys. What are we doing tonight? Drink some beer. That's what we did <laughs> the last one. Supercross will be on later. And like you could play it right to that side, like it was. Yeah, I know. I was oh, like, I'm gonna send that to Alicia. Oh, she. All right, y'all. We hoisted. Thanks to Garrett. Thanks to everybody here. Phenomenal week. Went to Vidalia. 
Louisiana. All these lakes around here. What's Mardi Gras? <laughs> is it Mardi? I think it is Mardi Gras. In Louisiana. Oh gosh. Unbelievable. What the heck? You trying to get up there and go fishing or something? <laughs> Come to back. Now I need you to channel your best inner rapper. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Y'all don't even know about TikTok, but it's going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> all them chains. So anyway, we're having some fun, but realistically, phenomenal week here, guys. Appreciate you guys all following along. I mean, look, when you can hoist that trophy, that trophy's heavy. Heaviest trophy I have, hands down. And to win that first trophy after my little girl was born, Olivia, it's pretty dang special. So I appreciate you guys following us. Make sure to subscribe. If you don't already subscribe, hit that notification button and make sure to comment. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.